Hello everyone, my name is Bijad al Maddah. I'm an advanced two student. Uh, this is my speak innocent speaking presentation. I'm gonna talk about how to avoid plagiarism. Today I'm gonna talk about four points. The first point is definition, second point kinds of plagiarism, third point how to avoid it, the fourth point consequences. Let's move let's move forward to the first point. Definition is to use somebody's words or work and refer them to yourself. Copy, paste sentences, photos, music, wireless, etc. That's all what can be part of the plagiarism. Second thing, I'm going to talk to you about kinds of plagiarism. Copying somebody's exact words without using quotation. And that's kind of the, that's one kind from the plagiarism. Second part, using somebody's words with changing few, some words, and or rearranging them. Paraphrasing, summarizing a paragraph without using citation. There's another kind of plagiarism and from these examples, from these kinds, using a picture was taken or drawn by someone without giving credit to the person. Refer an achievement was done by somebody to yourself. For example, research paper and projects. So I'm just gonna stop here for a moment and talk about using a picture was drawn, was taken or drawn by someone without giving credit to the person. Uh, in the United States, even pictures can be plagiarized. And that's really weird. How to avoid plagiarism Using quotation when copying the same exact words plus putting the author's name and that means give credit. Using citation in the reference section. Third solution third yeah third solution when summarizing and or paraphrasing don't forget to cite the work or the experiment. How to avoid the other kinds of plagiarism by taking a picture personally of the original picture by a personal camera. What does this sentence mean? It means if there is a picture that you liked on the internet and you wanted to use it, but if you copy it and paste it, if you save the image and use it, that would be plagiarism. But you can use the picture by printing the original uh, the original picture and take a picture for the original picture by your personal camera give credit give credit to everyone who participated in the research or the project on your work consequences there is two but there is academic consequences and career wise for the academic consequences I think there's a lot but that I found it a note it's for the first consequences is suspended from school the second consequences will be shown in your transcript and that's really bad big why in plagiarism everything is related to the other thing will affect your future career. So when you get suspended from school, it will be shown in your transcript. And if it's shown in your transcript, it will affect your future career. And the important thing that you're gonna lose everybody trust. The career wise, you might put in jail and find amount of money. And that's mean you might pay amount of money. 
In conclusion, copying using somebody's work, word work, will affect your reputation, future education, and future career. If you don't give credit, in contrast, imagine somebody's somebody use uses your own words or your own achievement and refer them refer them to themselves without giving you credit. And it's not nice, I think. It's not nice. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and um, you should be careful from plagiarism because in America plagiarism is really serious and you might get in big trouble uh, if you plagiarized and if you have any questions I'll be glad to answer them so you can send me my send, so you can send me the the questions at my email it's written over here b underscore and I'll be glad to answer them thank you